Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. This is the world away and I love days like this. It's new build day. We're gonna be doing the first two stages, pack one of the DLC collectibles release. I built the Ayrton Senna Lotus Renault 97T. Now obviously new build day, this is the brochure I'm holding here. We are gonna be doing the first two stages of pack one. As you see, I've got the stuff here and everything that I need here. I will be going through that with you and showing you what you get in pack one. If you wanna get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Diagostini Collectibles website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But what I'm gonna be doing is I'll show you all this stuff, but let me tell you a little bit about the car. Considered by many to be the greatest driver in the history of Formula 1, Ayrton Senna managed to win three world championships with 41 victories and 65 pole positions during his extraordinary career as a racing driver. His early death made him an eternal number one. This is a perfect replica of Ayrton Senna's legendary car based on the original car and the designs conserved by the classic Team Lotus. He achieved his first victory in Formula 1 at Estorial Circuit in Portugal on April 21st, 1985, driving a Lotus 97T. With a Renault EF48 engine, his car wore a golden coloured number 12, and on that day, Ayrton Senna entered the Hall of Fame as one of the greatest ever Formula 1 drivers. Well, it gave me goosebumps, that did. <laughs> I'm going to show you the brochure. So this is the brochure that you get, and this is going to open out into a great big poster as well, but I just want to show you different sections of this i've probably had to put it on the side camera here because it's so big uh here we've got some of the free gifts that are available for this as well again if you're watching this in the future and this is still available to build this may change but as you see we've got t-shirt we've got some prints we've got a 143 scale model there and if you have a premium offer here you can get the base for that if you decide to take that up for yourself as well I've actually had to zoom out the camera here so you can see this. So it's a 1.8 car. It's official licensed products. You've got uh, meticulous, highly detailed finishes, an impeccable reproduction of the Renault EF4B engine and parts manufactured with the high quality materials there. This looks like an absolutely amazing car. I'm just trying to make sure I've shown you everything. Let's turn over. I think we've done back both that page, which just leaves the poster. <laughs> I can't. There we go. Look at it. Wow. That is amazing. It's massive. That's got to be A0 size. But that looks cool. I like the helmet there as well. I think the helmet is part of the build. So uh, we do get to uh, do that as well. But uh, that's the brochure. And we do get this welcome letter here, just welcome us to the collection, saying how we can go on the Diagostini Collectibles website and you'll be able to manage your account on there. You'll be able to see when the next packs have been posted out to you as well. So, you know, if I had my way, I'd have a whole collection of Formula One cars because they look absolutely amazing, especially after my trip to Silverstone this week. Uh, I'm really in the zone when it comes to F1. But let's start this. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is stage one. Now I hadn't had a look at what's in each pack and let me just show you the stage one pack. Remember I told you about that helmet there? There it is, look at that, it comes in the first stage. Uh, like some of these builds, you do get your own screwdriver in here, which is a PHO screwdriver. And they've also gave us some tweezers. Uh, obviously everything we need for the first stage, which is the screws. And it looks like we're doing some of the uh, wing here or uh, well, we'll find that out together. Because here is the magazine now each stage has its own magazine and it's telling you all about formula one and ayrton center and a lot to do with the uh circuits there looking just like that and we're going to be doing the front wing and the helmet assembly in this first stage so we get step-by-step -step instructions of what to do it's looking just like that so by the end we have two of these front wings created and we've got the helmet this is brilliant Always got my own way of opening these is to say use my exacto blade here and just go around the edge, slicing down into the cardboard underneath, and I just find that easier to then lift off like that. So the first thing I want to show you is this helmet. Now this helmet is all metal. It's already been painted, the details are immaculate, it's really heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy, so I've got to keep that safe. But that is what the helmet is looking like. So we're going to do the wings first. So let me uh, just take this section out. And quite simply, they are labelled L 
an R so you know which ones are what. So we're going to do the left first. Make sure you've got corresponding letters for each one. And as you can see, we've got two lugs just going over the top there, which is going to line this up ready for two screws, which are going to go through here. Now, the screws that we're going to be using are MP screws. They come in bags and they are labeled just like that. They normally give you one spare each time. Now I'm going to use my own screwdriver, which is a Wera PH0 screwdriver. They are in my Amazon store. It does come with a PHO screwdriver anyway, if you don't have a screwdriver like that. So I'll just get this into position here. Two screws. That's one and two. So that now looks like that. We're going to be putting this section on to the smaller side here. Again, they are stamped, so you don't want this one, which is the R, we want the one that's got the L. Where that L is, we've got two little notches each side. That's just going to go into that empty section that you can see in there. And by doing that, it's going to line up these two holes here and here, ready for this AP silver screw. So that's one. And that one there is number two. Now we want to take this brilliant sponsored a Goodyear flap here. And as you can see, we have got an indent in this side. If you have a look at this, that indent's going to go into the notch that we got just coming out there. So this is going to be going in this way. Line it up like that. That's held in with BP screws. Now BP screws are really tiny. I don't know if you can see them, but my PHO screwdriver does manage to pick them up. No problems at all. Best to actually hold this in your hand like that. That way it's going to help you when you start screwing this in to get that lined up. Just like that there. Once you've got one screw in, it will hold itself no problems at all. Here's the second one. And there you go. That's the left side completed. We're going to do exactly the same thing on the right side. So, once again, taking these two parts put them together, holding them together with MP screws. This is the last one here. Excellent. We're going to be putting the upper part of the right wing flap on here. Again, using the R, this is going to be going in this way. Line everything up. Perfect. Held in with one of the silver AP screws. When you're putting these in, remember you're going into plastic because it ends in a P. If it ends in a P, it's plastic. If it ends in an M, it's metal. You don't want to go too tight on them, otherwise you risk rounding the uh, thread there, which you don't want to do. So that's in, and then the last thing, in that little notch again, we're going to be putting this Goodyear flap. That's going in there with the really tiny, get that in, BP screw. And there you go. That's both of those complete, looking like that. Bring over the helmet, which I showed you right at the start. We've got the visor for that. Again, already pre detailed for us with the Elf Renault sponsorship on there. We're just going to clip that into the holes at the side. It's going to be held in with AM screws. Got them here. Just line up each hole. Put the AM screw through here. That's one, and that one's two. Excellent, that will enable the visor to go up and down. <laughs> Excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now, I want to show you what's in here. I don't know what the YouTube policies are on this, but uh, different sponsorships are on this car. And uh, as you know, going through the years, things like beers, and cigarettes weren't allowed to be displayed on TV. So you do have the decals for the John Player special here as well, should you wish to put those on like that. So that leads us swiftly onto pack two here. Again, I'm gonna show you the magazine. I love new build day. <laughs> There's that helmet, look, check that out. There you go. And as you can see, we're going to be doing the rear wing assembly this time. Again, we do have the decal here. I will show you that afterwards to show you what that looks like. But the rear wing is going to go together just like this. So at the end, we've got this full unit here. Once again, I'll get this open. 
And the first thing we need are these two sections looking like this. This has got the male lugs in, this has got the female lugs in. I want to put these together just like this, lining up the lugs and pushing that into place. So you'll have one flap on the top and on the opposite side just there. Put that to one side because now I need this edge here, rear wing top flap, and we're going to be putting a gurney flap on top. That looks just like this. This is a metal piece here and it's shaped like an L. We're going to be putting it on this way. Hopefully the close-up camera can show you this like that. Oops, trying to come off there. It's going to be held in with lots of CP screws. Now, this is where it might get a little bit confusing. You've got CP screws which are silver. It's not those ones we're using. It's the CP screws that are black that we're using. So I'm going to get the centre one in first. That will hold that into place. Again, don't over tighten it. And then that will enable me to put the other four in along this flap. Great detail this is. I do like how you've got a mixture of ABS and metal in just that one part there. We've got this lower flap here, which again, tries to show you the outline of where it's gonna go on this part here. This is stamped with an L. So this is gonna go on just like that there, held in with an AP screw. So I've lined it up there, get one in here. Now we're gonna be attaching what we created right at the start. There is some notches for this to go in. So I'm gonna put that in that way, just like that. Again, that's held in with AP screws. So one in here. And one just in the top. And then the last flap that we created, looking like that, is just going into the two holes that are left at the end there. These are held in with the really tiny BP screws. And in the next part, we need to put this little tab here onto this little tab here using a screw and a nut. Now I find doing this bit first will make your life a lot easier. So put that through here, make sure it goes through both sides and then attach with a nut on the other side. So that's what we've got now. Now the hard bit is getting the nut on the other side. So I'm not left handed but I'm going to operate the screw with my left hand while I hold the nut with my right. There we go, I've started it. <laughs> That's hard. Let's tighten this up. Just like that. <laughs> Once we've got that, then we can tighten up the screws just on the sides here. So that should look like that. <laughs> that was quite tricky. All we're gonna do now is take the other side here and we're going to do exactly like we've just done putting the screws in so it's going to be AP screws through all of these and then BP screws just at the end so I'll line this one up first at the bottom and then in the last two here we've just got the smaller BP screws just going in here now once that's done the last thing left to do is we've got the crossbar mount here which is metal Looking like that. That's just going to go along this edge here and the other side over here. And it's held in with CP screws, which are again silver screws. Get them out. So, one in this side. Make that nice and tight. And one in the other side here. And there you go. And when that's in, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, I just want to show you, once again, the decals we got here. Again, John Player Special, as you can see on both sides. But I want to show you the magazine as well. Specifically, this area here, talking about the water decals. Now, obviously, you can pause the video and read that for yourself, but I will read this to you. It does say, for legal reasons, we cannot show or mention the brand of one of the historic sponsors of Ayrton Senna's car. However, for those who want their model to have their original decoration... We will offer, along with the first issues, water decals and logos and signatures of this well-known sponsor. They're very easy to apply 
Please follow the instructions below. The area where the decal will be applied needs to be clean and dry. Cut out the logo you're going to use. Soak the logo in cold water for approximately 30 seconds. Use tweezers to remove the protective film and place the logo in its final location. Now, I don't know how YouTube sees that sort of branding on there. Now, I know I've showed you on a decal sheet, but I don't want to uh, gratify it by putting it on the car. Personally, I will be putting it on the car, but I'm going to do it at the end of the build, and it's probably going to be off camera. Uh, as I said, I, I want to keep myself safe for this. But if you do want to have the JPS logos on there, then uh, you've got them there to do. But what do you reckon? That was quite good, wasn't it? So we've done the back wing here, and we've done the two fronts, and we've also done the helmet with the visor, which, uh, as you see, goes up. <laughs> if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Diagostini Collectibles website. You can get this all the way from pack one, but I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.